international conference on uh, the Sufi harmony and pitch, uh, Sayyid Saifuddin Ahmed, uh, honorable uh, convener of this uh, conference, Sufi Mizan Rahman, His Excellency Mr. Ambassador of Iran, uh, Dr. Dehalabi, and distinguished Sufis from abroad, and uh, dear colleagues, uh, distinguished personalities, invited guests, uh, very good evening and Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. <coughs> I am extremely sorry for the inability of speaking Arabic. Uh, let me, uh, in a very few words, express my idea about uh, the Sufi and Sufi ideas. I, on my behalf and on behalf of my University of Dhaka, do welcome you all, especially our Sufi brethren from abroad to this wonderful country, Bangladesh. At the outset, I would like to express our homage to our great leader, father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, because this is the month of December. December is the month of victory for the Bengali nation. I would also like to express our homage to the three million martyrs who laid down their lives for the cause of our motherland in 1971 against the Pakistani occupation. Dear brethren, this evening, we are witnessing a very wonderful evening today. This evening gathers a very distinguished personalities from home and abroad. We have come to know that a uh, highly qualified Sufi men of mystic reputation have gathered here. And this is why we are also enjoying the pleasant company of these distinguished personalities. You might have known that Bangladesh is a country of the Sufis. Islam got here supremacy not through short, but through the blessings of the Sufis. In medieval times, especially when Islam penetrated here in the 13th century, in 1205, then it was not through the efforts of the ruling elites, but through the distinguishing blessings and the peace-loving people's efforts which established Islam in this region of the world. And since then, every inch of Bangladesh land is filled with the tombs and shrines of the Sufi saints. That is why this is a very peculiar country, this is a very wonderful country in the world, which can welcome all faith groups, all denominations of religious denominations and faiths in this country. This people and you will be happy to learn that the father of the nation, the greatest Bengali for all the times, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib, after the independence of Bangladesh, made everything possible for flourishing Islam and Islamic values. And today, the Prime Minister, Honorable Prime Minister of Bangladesh, has been awarded with the award, you know, champion for change. This change is not for climatic change, but change in the socio-economic life of the people. But there has been a very detrimental factor in this advancement, that is the militancy, the Zangi, the extremist force. And Bangladesh has now become a model for the world community, the how Bangladesh can tackle this extremist group. We are now convinced that only the Sufi ideas, the ideas of love, can curb militancy very effectively. This is why Bangladesh government, along with the people of Bangladesh, they are welcoming the ideas of Sufism, love, and harmonic philosophy that the Islam in its tenets, precedes all the times. Islamic. Today, Sayyid Saifuddin Ahmad's effort is coming to a very great success. Although, although today he is not so happy because he wanted to have a very large gathering commencing from the very morning of the day. 
but due to due to some unavoidable circumstances he could not do it but it was his honest intention to host all of you in a very befitting manner for all the days but still he is waiting to see a day when all the representative members of this country representing different bodies will be joining hands with saiputin sai saiputin to organize such an international gathering where speakers from different countries will be joining him and will enrich our minds to a significant way inshallah inshallah we are we are waiting to see nareer sala sada uh with this few words i must not keep talking more with this few words i would like to once again welcome you congratulate you for making this event success and i especially thank sai sai putin and his uh, delegates for inviting me and allowing me to say few words before you assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh